Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you your daily Tesla report for Monday, August 19th, 2024. But before we check out the charts, I just want to ask you to please click like, share, subscribe, and check out wickedstocks.com, where we offer a full suite of both daily and weekly analytical videos, just like the daily Tesla and daily end video reports, daily analysis in the SPY, daily analysis in the Triple Q, weekly analysis in the S&P 500 index, the NASDAQ 100 index, and Apple stock, as well as two individual stock picks a week that you never see on YouTube that cater to the three to five week swing trader out to the three to five month near term investor, always looking for 20% moves or or more on those underlying stocks. And you get to see all of this for free. We offer a five-day free trial up front. So check out wickedstocks.com. Where to begin? I'm going to start with the near term and we can incorporate the long term into it just to kind of recap that it was uh, uh, over a week ago uh, that, well, I'm going to go back to the long term and just show this a uh, one year channel top uh, that we settled above a couple of months ago and certainly collapsed below, opened below the week. That was a Monday morning, if you recall. Um, and uh, that was the big sell off. The triple Q, the NASDAQ 100 lows at the same time. Uh, but we did finish the week out just above this one year channel top. And last week, for all intents and purposes, it held. It's at 195.66 all week long. I don't see it as a trend defining level anymore, but it's there and it's just useful to just sort of see where we've come. It was right around this time after having settled at the channel top uh, about a week and a half ago that we then also closed above a descending one thirds P line on the daily chart that is now well below the market. It's actually obsolete. Uh, when a speed line drops below or above the point that's used in its construction, i.e. that early August low was like 182, we're below that. So I'm just, I'm presenting this really just for graphic representation of what played out. A buy signal, a one to two week buy signal, a week and a half or so ago, above the 176.72 speed line, then indicated the descending two third speed line that is today at 223.78. A formation, a line study, able to contain weekly highs. And from here, we can fall away. I'm talking to day traders, three to five day swing traders, and even two to three week swing traders. Although, as I say that, I've been mentioning, uh, and I'm going to use this chart, now, uh, this 199.70 rising channel bottom, let's just call it a three to five day swing trade. Now, there is the possibility that 223.78 could wind up containing buying into September trade, which would then, well, that would infer or imply uh, an eventual violation of 199.70. But if I'm just looking at these structures here, I could say this is a very well developed three to five day swing trade scenario that narrows into more of a one to two day swing trade as we continue into later week 223.78 dropping daily 199.70 rising and so 199.70 is well equipped to contain weekly selling pressures and we can rebound from here back to 223.78 and vice versa this is also an opportunity to look at the day itself uh, i've got 216 even a level that we settled just above on friday that is the 3 8 upside fibonacci that held thursday's high we pushed through it on friday closed just above it Opening above 216 even will keep 223.78 in reach today. But if we break or open below 216 even, this newly formed very short-term channel bottom at 210.06 would be in reach. This may well contain session weakness, daily selling pressures. This is kind of the day trade setup uh, or the one to two day setup, uh, selling 223.78, buying back at 210.06. But really, I think if you sell 223.78 and you're a three to five day swing trader, you're really kind of holding out for this 199.70 formation. And certainly if we were to close today below 210.06, I would see over the next day or so 199.70. So uh, 210.06, solid pivot point uh, for uh, into midweek. It's a solid pivot point for the day. If we get overnight selling in the futures market Sunday night and Tesla winds up opening below 210.06, we certainly could and probably would test 199.70 on an intraday basis. 
where uh, we can bottom pick the market on a day trade and three to five day swing trade basis back to 223.78. If we close below 199.70 later this week, that is a significant tipping point, I think, not only through the rest of August, but even into September trade. This, this, this sharp recovery following the low and then closing below the channel structure does tip the market south to 167.41 within one to two two weeks. And there is a newly formed, I haven't committed it to it yet, but it's based on Friday's high. If you can imagine a trend line coming off these highs like this, and then a channel bottom at the same rate of descent, it actually drops into the upper 130s over the next uh, week or two. So well, I've been mentioning how 129.37 may be considered a longer term objective if we close below 199.70. And I say, you can play that. You can trade that. Uh, in other words, if we were to close below 199.70 and you're an options trader, for instance, you may consider reaching for 135, I'm sorry, 130 or 125 strike out of the money puts that don't expire. I see this as a one to two month play. Uh, don't expire for at least three, four, five months, something in that respect. If you want to just commit to 167.41, I think that is the realistic objective, this uh, 167.41 double bottom. Uh, there's bound to be some play there, and we might even bottom out there for a week, uh, you know, and so you could take it in stair-step fashion. There's also a case to be made that for merely testing 223.78, for those of you who may be bearish Tesla for your own reasons, 223.78 is the level to sort of stick your neck out and sell at this point. We can fall away not only back to 199.70 within three to five days, but we could then also wind up violating 199.70 to the downside. So if you want good price location on a short sale, I think it's 223.78, and I'm talking to you two to three week and beyond uh, short players who want to play the short side. Uh, of course, closing below 199.70 would be a secondary sell signal uh, into the upper 120s, perhaps, uh, over the following one to two months. Uh, now for the upside. 223.78. You know, if we push through 223.78 today, we could test 235.21, which is this former channel bottom. And it combined with, now there is, um, and I'm scouting the images here, I don't see it, but I believe it's a 5 8 Fibonacci. Or is it a 50%? I forget. My apologies at 237. In any event, this area is narrowing daily because I do know 237 even is a fixed level. 235.21 is rising daily. And so that's a quick target above 223.78. But I do see that closing above 223.78 does have longer term uh, repercussions. Uh, and once again, I don't have a chart for that. I wish I did. Oh, yes, I do. Here it is. Uh, closing above 223.78, uh, three to five weeks. With an aggressive rally, could take a couple of months, but in any event, closing about 223.78, I think you can, uh, you know, prepare for uh, whatever that means to you, uh, 287.20. So, you know, if you're playing the short side, of course, or if you're short Tesla now, closing about 223.78, I see no good reason to hold on to that position, and you may consider actually reversing and going long. If you're position free right now and you're looking for kind of a big picture trade, closing above 223.78, I do think provides that there will bound to be trouble uh, at 235.21 on the way up. You know, there's a scenario where we close above 223.78, test 235.21 within a day or two, fall back to 223.78. It holds through next week. We turn back up to the channel bottom. But over time, I think the likelier outcome would be a, an eventual violation to the upside of 223, uh, 235.21 following a, a violation of the 223.78 speed line. Is there anything else to say? I think I've said it all. I'm going to leave it at that. Please click like, share, subscribe. Check out wickedstocks.com. Two stock picks a week, daily triple Q, daily spy analysis, so forth and so on. I'll leave it to you. We have a five-day free trial. Uh, this um, uh, is Monday's Tesla report. Of course, I will be back tomorrow with Tuesdays. You have a great day.